Today, I'm gonna be giving you five tips to become a better options day trader. Tip number one, use stop loss orders to minimize losses. One of the most important things to remember when trading options is to manage your risk. And one effective way to manage your risk is to use stop loss orders. A stop loss order is a type of trading order that automatically closes your position when the price of the underlying asset reaches a certain level. By setting a stop loss order, you can limit your potential losses and protect your investment. Let's say you buy a call option on a stock at a certain point and you set a stop loss order at 10% below your purchase. If the price of the stock drops by 10% or more, your stop loss order will trigger and your position will automatically be closed. This helps to prevent you from losing more than you're comfortable with. It's important to note that stop loss orders aren't foolproof and there are risks involved with using them. For example, if the market is highly volatile, the price of the underlying asset may drop suddenly and trigger your stop loss order before bouncing back up. This can result in missed opportunities and potentially higher losses. Being defensive with your money is very important because if you're not defensive with your money, it doesn't matter how many times you win, you could still lose it all. Tip number two, choose options with high liquidity. Liquidity is a key factor to consider when trading options. Options with high liquidity have a large number of buyers and sellers, which can make it easy to enter and exit a position at a favorable price. Conversely, options with low liquidity may be difficult to trade and you may have trouble finding a buyer or a seller. One way to determine the liquidity of an option is to look at its open interest and trading volume. Open interest is a total number of outstanding option contracts while trading volume is the total number of contracts that have been traded in a given period. Options with high open interest and trading volume are generally considered to be more liquid. By choosing options with high liquidity, you can help ensure that you're able to enter or exit a position quickly and easily. This can be especially important if you need to make a trade quickly to take advantage of a particular market condition or news. So there you have it. Tip number two for trading options. When choosing options, look for those with high liquidity to make it easier to enter and exit positions. All right, tip number three, don't rely on options as your sole investment. While options can be a powerful tool for enhancing your returns, it's important to not rely on them as your sole investment. Options can be highly volatile and risky and they might not be suitable for all investors. Instead, it's important to maintain a diverse portfolio that I like to consider the long term that includes a mix of stocks, bonds, um, real estate, other assets. This can help you reduce your overall risk and potential improves uh, of returns over the long term. At the end of the day, you're here for growth. Tip number four, avoid trading options close to expiration. Option contracts have an expiration date after which they become worthless. Trading options too close to the expiration can be risky and the value of the option might be highly volatile and difficult to predict. I've found that whenever I get more time, those plays typically have a higher chance of making me money. So take that for whatever you want to take it as. As an option approaches its expiration date, its time decay increases, which means that its value decreases at a faster rate. This can result in large losses if the option doesn't move in the desired direction before expiration. To avoid these risks, it's generally a good idea to avoid trading options that are close to expiration. Instead, consider trading options that have several months until expiration, as this can give you more time to capitalize on market movements and can help reduce your overall risks. These types of option plays are referred to as leaps. Tip number five, understand the Greeks. The Greeks are a group of mathematical calculations that are used to measure various aspects of an option contract, such as its price, volatility, time decay. By understanding the Greeks, you can gain insight into how an option is likely to perform 
under different marking conditions. The most important Greek to understand are delta, gamma, theta, and vega. Delta measures the sensitivity of an option's price to change in the price of a underlying asset. Basically, how much money your contract will make for every dollar. Gamma measures the rate of change of an option's delta. So it affects the delta. Theta measures the rate of time decay of an option's value. Vega measures the sensitivity of an option's price to change in volatility. By understanding these Greeks, you can make more informed decisions about which options to buy or sell and how to manage your risk. For example, you might use Delta to hedge your position against movements in a stock or Theta to take advantage of the time decay. So there you have it, tip five for trading options, understanding the Greeks to gain insight into how an option is likely to perform under different market conditions. As always, be sure to do your research. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below. Subscribe to this channel if you got some type of insight and check out my other options tutorials.